Today on the fabrication series, trailer axle stub replacement. So a little backstory, I was running the trailer down the road, saw some smoke pulled over, uh, the inner wheel bearing inside of the hub had disintegrated, welded itself to the axle, and I had to cut the bearing off alongside the road to see some of the indications of where it was ground down to get the new bearing on that was all good and dandy pretty much worked but the problem was that we also got some gouges into the ceiling surface where the seal that keeps the grease inside of the hub runs and that needs to be round and smooth otherwise the grease comes out makes a mess and then uh, they fail on other bearings so bought a new stub axle on ebay Took a little while to find one that was the right dimensions. It does have a bigger nut than the previous, but it'll still fit in the cap, so not an issue. Uh, to get the old one out, I had to cut. There was a weld down in here. I had to use a Dremel of a little die grinder wheel and then two welds on either side, which were these cuts here. I had to get pretty deep on that one. It didn't, uh, didn't want to pull loose. And there was one weld on the very end as well. So just to kind of give you an idea of what we're talking about here, here's your hub, your stub axle, good old Wisconsin, rust belt central of the world. Um, so yeah, that's it. Put it together, clean everything out good, new bearing, uh, seals and uh, grease, and we'll send it down the road. Till next time, talk to you guys later.